Hey guys, it's Jim Halterman from TV Guide Magazine. I'm here with the fantastic Alex Newell. Hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. So good to <laughs> I'm doing well. So good to talk to you. Okay, I let out a little scream yesterday. I'm sure there was a bigger scream in your household, but Zoe's second season. Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm so excited. You know, the show itself is such a labor of love. And to get to go back to it and develop even more of this beautiful story is wonderful. Did you kind of know in your gut that you guys would get picked up or were you not sure? Well, you know, you can always tell when something's a hit, especially when the um, ratings are so good. No, um, <laughs> I didn't know. I really didn't. You know, you never really know. You never have anything tangible because something can be really great and still not get picked up. Yeah. The one thing I was impressed about all season was that Mo was so much more than just um, the neighbor. She yeah. she became such a part of like Zoe's family of friends and became such a big part of the show. Did you kind of know that going in? Because sometimes when you shoot a pilot, you don't know how they're going to play out all the uh, all the characters. You know, I didn't want it to be like that person next door, the moral conscience of Zoe. I didn't <laughs> want that to happen like one-offs. Um, I wanted... Um, Mo to be real, and I think Austin really wanted that as well. Now tell me, episode four was your big episode, and I, I love that episode so much. One, I know Gretchen and Aaron, who wrote the episode. I'm friends with them. But also, it was so great for Mo, but I think it was also a story for you as well, right, personally? Yeah. Um, growing up in church, I um, never felt like I could 100% be myself, because if I were, it was deemed as a sin to be me. And I could not wrap my finger or mind around that when you preach and teach love so often that you can't accept and love me. So I really wanted to portray that issue that a lot of people go through it at like with sexuality, identity, and faith. Well, and acceptance is just something I think we all can relate to. And I think that's why people love that episode so much. Yeah. Was it a challenge for you to shoot it just because it did hit close to home? Um, a little. It's... It's being so vulnerable and showing quite literally you and not being able to hide behind a character anymore. Um, and just tell the story as open and honest. I mean, I got a little verklempt. There was one take where I could not stop crying because it just hit home so hard. What are the days like when you have to record singing? Because I know it's complicated with choreography, but also are those days more fun? Are they more stressful? How is it for you to shoot those? You know, it's, I don't even notice them anymore i mean <laughs> being that i was on glee for so long and i'm so used to like just like getting there banging out the song and leaving like i just i don't know it's always fun though to yeah. sing dance and act at the same time i should say that but yeah. i mean it's nice to really sit back and watch people that haven't done it before like that's my favorite part of it like getting to watch mary do it getting to watch lauren do it getting to watch peter do it like that's so rewarding for me and that season finale number, the one that with American Pie, uh, was it, how long was it? It was a seven and a half minute. Uh, oh one. And I talked to Austin before I saw it. And then once I saw it, I, I couldn't believe it, it worked. But wh how was that for you to shoot? Because I know it was very choreographed and timed to the uh, T. You know, we didn't do it that many times. I think that's like the biggest, like when you have rehearsed it so many times, it, it just has no choice but be perfect. Yeah. It was perfect. Um, that rehearsal process was a lot. I will say that the rehearsal process, I was like, oh, there are so many moving parts to this that I didn't even know about. Like I watched, we filmed what was going on outside the house because it literally took a village. There were people <laughs> like changing curtains because half the scenes was go from night to, well, not night, from day to night. And just carrying these tables out of the house when the camera's not facing, it was, it was an ordeal. Well, if you guys were not a family by that point, you were after that because only a family can come together to shoot something like that. Yeah, it, we love each other and I think we trust each other and that's why everything goes so well. Okay, so let's say you get to take charge of the writer's room for season two a little bit. What, what's your biggest dream for Mo and what we'll see, a story or more romantic story? What would you like to see? Um, I really want to see Mo's mom and Mo's yeah. family. I think we touched on it um, when Mo said that um, the only other person that made me feel special was my mom. And I only say this because I'm really on, on this tangent to have Neethi Nash play my mom. <laughs> That's perfect casting. See, I'm, this is what I'm saying. That, that's a no-brainer. 
Can we can we call her? Do we have her number? <laughs> Listen, I do. I'm like on it. I'm just trying to manifest it. Okay. Um, you sang a lot of numbers throughout the whole first season. Was there one that was a favorite or one that was more challenging for you or anything stand out? I want to say the trouble with love is because I got to sing it live on the show. Yeah. That was beautiful. And also, just like a storyline, if you could pick a song that you have to sing on the show sometime during its run, do you have something you really want to see happen? Um, Boys by Lizzo. I mean, it's a no-brainer. <laughs> Have you already sung it, like karaoke or just around no, your apartment? I, I just like to dance around to it at my house. <laughs> it's a good song. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I cannot wait to talk to all of you about season two. I hope you guys get to go shoot sooner than later. And c congratulations, though. I, I was such a fan of the first season. You all did such great work. So congrats. Thank you. Thank you. It means the world. I hope we get to go back and start cracking at it soon, too. I do, too. All right, Alex. Thank you so much. Have a good one.